Hi everyone and welcome to week 12. So what are we doing in week 12? Let's take a look. So for your study resources, uh, we've got hypothesis testing with the mean notes and worksheet for hypothesis testing with the mean. So this is the quiz stuff right here, um, including the probability calculator. So you are going to definitely want to hit these. So this is some actual math math. We're working on critical values, confidence intervals, and this is everything you need for uh, this quiz right here. So here's the formulas. You need the probability calculator. Um, there are four types of problems. They use similar scenarios, but the numbers are different. Do not use the values from one question with the other. Um, use separate sheets of paper if you need to, because um, they don't want you to be confused. But definitely work through uh, these two videos and these handouts before you do the quiz. So what else do we have going on this week? Okay, so I'm super excited. I'm trying this for the first time. It's a discussion called Bad News. And what is it? Uh, we're going to play an online game called Bad News, and it's to help you better understand how disinformation, so think fake news, gets integrated to what we read and even believe and why it's a problem. So before you do your initial post, you want to make sure you review the documents about bad news um, and the different badges, oh, except I need to take that part off because I took the badges thing off until later. So I'll update that. Um, but you do want to read the bad news introduction, then play the game. It can take between 15 to 20 minutes, so just as an FYI, uh, then take a screenshot of the bright yellow congratulations message certificate at the end of the game that has the total number of follows on it. Uh, you will need this for your initial post. So why? Because the person with the highest verified number of followers, and that's kind of like the game points type of thing, uh, is going to get some extra credit. So take it seriously, you know, try to be as technically bad as you can. Uh, in getting out, or I guess good at getting out bad news. Uh, that's wor worded weirdly, but please take it seriously, but have fun with it. Um, hopefully you'll get some chuckles out of it. I know I did, uh, and I've asked a couple other people in my office to do it, and they got some chuckles out of it as well. So the initial post, first the important stuff, what was the total number of followers at the end of the game? Either embed your screenshot into your post or attach it. Uh, what did you think of the game? Did it help you better understand how people groups use disinformation to impersonate Play to people's emotions, um, that's all the badge type things. And how easy do you think it would be, be to do this in real life? And so I guess that this, um, to, I guess to propagate and to, you know, send out and get people believing misinformation. I'll, I'll clarify that one as well. And what do you think you can avoid falling for disinformation? So I like that. I, I hope you guys have a good time with it. This, I will tell you, this is a brand new discussion. I've never tried this one before. So, you know, Let's just cross our fingers that you guys enjoy it as much as I did. Gosh, I hope you did. Uh, moving forward, what else do we have for this week? Um, so that's the bad news discussion. We talked about the quiz. You're then going to be actually collecting your data this week. So hopefully you got the green light from me. So you now need to actually collect the data. Remember, you need prices for 30 items. The other thing, please make sure you write down the exact size and the exact brand uh, or that it's generic or the Walmart brand or whatever. Um, in the mini tab file, because what you're actually submitting is the mini tab file, you do not need the dollar sign in the mini tab file. In fact, that will mess things up. So just put it into mini tab um, similar to like this. And moving on, so that should be pretty straightforward. The only other thing you're doing is just um, introduction and methods. So what's the topic, what stores were picked, um, there weren't any participants, so you just include information about the stores you used and why you picked them, materials, what items were selected. Um, don't put them in the methods, just lead, let readers know um, the general type, and then put it in an appendix at the very end. Then procedures, just to express, explain that. So overall, not a bad week, I hope. Um, I, I, this quiz, it is math. Uh, you are going to have to do some stuff with your calculator and some figuring stuff, but I hope that it's not too bad. If it is, please contact me. Let me know. Let me help you. Uh, otherwise, I hope the bad news discussion is fun, and the other two things for the project, at least for this week, should be pretty straightforward and shouldn't be too problematic. So, hope this is a good week for you guys as well. Let me know if you need help.